Hi, this little video to show how MPST works to display videos from PC World, for example. So you run it, let's select a video for Windows, for example, Car Race, and let's try how it is um, without any conversion. Well, so as you can see, it's very bad. Only 28% of frames displayed to get synchronization with sound and 4.2 frames per second. Uh, this video is 15 frames per second normally. Well, so we are going to try to improve this with the turn to FLM. I give a name for the new video, for example, car gray FLM and start conversion. Uh, the FLM format is created by Lexicore and really adapted to the 16 color display of the Atari. Voilà, so you can see every frame is loaded from the PC video and saved to a new format uh, for the Atari. <coughs> I've modified this uh, format from Lexicore to add sound. In the original version, only images could be displayed. Well, that should be okay now. Yes, well, 15 seconds to make the conversion. So let's try this new video, Car Gray, and play it. Well, so now we even got the, the correct values, 100% of frame displayed and uh, the correct uh, frame per second. But we can improve this once again by adding color. Uh, this video has uh, 256 colors. So we can try to use um, an algorithm to reduce it to 16 colors. Well, so the first time it's only an analysis. And you can see on the, on the left the frame, the current frame, and on the right uh, the number of colors used in this video. Voilà, so let's try to add colors. Voilà, the analysis is over, so 238 colors used. And so now we're going to perform the color conversion. So I click there once again to use the previous analysis and turn to FLM. Play, and so I'm going to change car color, for example, FLM. OK, start conversion. So the sound is loaded and this new blank moment corresponds to the, um, the palette compression, an algorithm to reduce from 256 colors to 16. Well, so now you can see the conversion is made in colors. Uh, the problem is that only one palette can be used for the whole um, video. Uh, if we could change the palette for each frame, the number of colors could be better. Well, but that's uh,
correct enough for that kind of computer. Uh, we can see differences on cores. And now we are going to try this last video in color. Alors, let's pick it up. Uh, car color. Yes, and play. Well. well, it's not perfect, but it's it's okay. 100%, every frame was displayed, the good average, and colors and sound on a simple Atari. Well, that's all. Bye.